Well, it can, but I think it will favour the, the climbers as well um, because it's a lumpy all day today. Uh, I'm expecting it to, to split up quite considerably. The question is, because we've had predominantly sprints so far, but just look at this profile. We're over the HC category climb, first category, third category, then a second and a third towards the end, uh, at an uphill finish. So it is going to be uh, shaped the, the general classification. Tomorrow is tough enough in Zagreb, um, and I think bonuses will be up for grabs. Um, but I think this is going to be the big day, and you know a lot of riders will want to try and infiltrate this breakaway. Seventy kilometres of the day remaining. This is your leading group, a very selective, as you can see, and as you might also note, um, the favourites uh, are indeed embedded within this group. Uh, just looking back down uh, through the line here, our overall leader is uh, Jonathan Mylan. He is uh, apparently absent. Can't quite see him just for the time being. I wouldn't have been surprised if he'd actually been up there. This is uh, this, in fact, is the red jersey group. As you can see, it's engaged in the chase. Two minutes and five down. He could retrieve this, Brian. And the way he's been going up ramps, don't discount him at the end today. You never know. Today, a uh, minute and thirty-six as it's come down. Um, I'm not sure. We've had uh, some clock bounce during this race, so uh, we'll wait and see. Geron's getting greedy, Brian. <laughs> he's taking everything, isn't he? Mm. Sprints and, you know, King of the Mountains, and he's at 100% so far. Uh, why not? And, you know, but I don't think he needs to kind of chase these points. You know, he's he's going to, you know, just looking to see where he is in general classification. He's 39th at 2 minutes and 43. So that's his big goal, the King of the Mountains. And I don't think anybody can take that away from him. As that's the second see. group. Uh, I beg your pardon. There's a lot of waving about motorbikes right. getting in the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There we are. Uh, they're, they're both waving at motorbikes in the second group and in the uh, the front group here. But with this gap coming down, you can see that Castro Vieco is, is starting to uh, ride now. So just as we thought that others will ride, if the gap starts to come down, others will ride. So it's pretty much now or never for this second group behind because I don't think they've got the same firepower there is here. Me either. Um, and I actually wonder just how many fresh legs are here, and they're still complaining. Meanwhile, Heiss Liemreiser has done his job. Um, this is basically to buy the excuse for Jonas Fingergo um, to just stay embedded within the front group and not do too much work. Here he is, Jonathan Milan. Brilliant job by him, but um, he was just being asked to do too much work, quite frankly. And this looks like a disparate group right now with riders just overpassing each other. This doesn't look overly committed as a chase, Brian, anymore. No. Terrific. Meanwhile, uh, they haven't got two up the road, surely. Uh, I think that's possibly um, a Omar. Fraile. Yeah, Omar Fraile, who's, uh, who's gone up. Has to be. And of course it is. <laughs> This is wonderful. 19 uh, kilometres to go. Whenever Omar Freyle is involved in a situation like this, it's always entertaining and he just powers into that gap. Super work. He's on the back wheel of Butrago, who's uh, following Chris Hamilton, who looks really close to the end of his resources. Omar Freyle, don't be surprised if he doesn't go, go on to win today because he's that kind of rider. Um, hot and cold. It will depend on the call that he gets from his teammate Brandon Rivera. It's not going to be Castro Vecco. He's done too much of the engine room work uh, today. Uh, Rivera is their chosen son and uh, there you will find him. So the bridge complete, all bar, in the bright red of Bahrain. Just drifting up to the front is um, Torsten Train as well, wants to stay very much part of it. There's Butrago, wants to stay with it and join the front, and uh, that is the moment. So, Vingago decides to go, and guess what? The only man who's staying solidly with him for the time being is Onley, who does not look troubled. Look at the visage of everyone around, everyone grimacing except for Onley at the moment, in second wheel, just blows a little bit. 
Vingago has to go over the top. They want to shake off Mati Mohoric as well. And if they come around together as a trio, Mohoric is not going to have the punch. If he hasn't got it now, the desperation measures and the two best riders within this race are absolutely locked wheel to wheel. This is fantastic. It's a long old way out to go for this. Vingago crosses the line this time by. He's got only. They will work together. Mohoric is still very much there. Uh, train comes across the line as well. Others want to join the fun, but uh, it's the move, Brian. Predicted, of course, but uh, the billing has been lived up to here. Yeah. 10 kilometres from home now. Um, this is what uh, Vingago wanted. Isolation time. Um, it's sole single riders only, single opponents, and so everyone better share the duty if you want anything out of the day. But Vingago and only must feel confident that um, this day is coming their way, but which one of them will cross the line first? <laughs> Pierre Roland um, unzipped, as you can see, ready for action. He's, um, he's busy trying to get Axel Laurence up into a decent position as well, who's nursing the, uh, the points jersey on behalf of um, Jonathan Milan, who is, of course, no longer part of... Uh, uh, the frame today for the victory and it's coming back together. Still, I don't think that uh, Vingago and Onley fear this group. Oh, but hip, yeah, here it is. We uh, we thought he may well have um, an instinct to go for it. I said a, a, a wee while ago, I can imagine him bridging over and then having some fun. Vingago is going to struggle to stay with these guys now because he's, he's basically put a lot into the last lap, or the previous lap, I should say. Four and a half kilometres only, Brian. Yeah, the second group know that they're not as strong as the six riders that are in front. Uh, that's very clear, and that was a, a perfect opportunity to go on the oh. counter move here, and Hamilton wow. tried to do it yet again. What a fantastic move by him. He goes off, um, asks the question, and uh, it is Martin that goes on his back wheel, and suddenly Bahrain starts to pick it up. They're trying to tee this one up. Uh, it's Putraga that's engaged in the chase so that Mati Mohoric can sit in. Um, there he is on about... Uh, fifth or sixth wheel of the chase Hamilton doing a fantastic job on behalf of Onley if Onley wins today he's going to have to give a big thank you to Hamilton uh, an uninterested we know he is Pierre Roland might might be allowed a little bit of leash here uh, because we're starting to talk about bonus seconds and indeed gaps going into a final stage tomorrow I think Vingago would like a gap and guess what Pierre Roland it is the man that goes off and I don't think he's going to get chased let's see I think Hamilton will uh, just ride now. He'll just ride for uh, Ornley. He knows that this is where mistakes can be made. And I think Roland, as we were saying, he's he's he was dropped. He, he was in that second group. But I think Hamilton now will just ride as, as hard as he can uh, into this climb. Yeah. Let's see whether he, uh, he manages today. He's gone. He's flown the coupe. I think this is a Pierre Roland day. So it's about uh, the margins um, that are on offer behind. And here you go. Had to be. And it is a huge move going on from Fraley, of course. Tucked in on his wheel. Well, if Roland's going to go up the road, Fraley thinks, well, I can have some of this. Uh, Jonathan, um, uh, uh, is it Lastra or is it uh, Martin? Lastra. Uh, Lastra, I beg your pardon. 91. Yes. Uh, who, is, uh, who is also here. Um, tucks in on that. Two kilometres to go. And still, Onley and Vingago looking at each other. It looks like they may well be seeing bonus seconds disappear up the road. So it'll be a measure just between the pair of them. That suits Vingago with no bonus seconds. Or indeed, those bonus seconds just being snuffed out. Where we are. Uh, so, time to climb. And it's Onley that strikes out. And it's Vingago that goes onto his back wheel. He's almost been tempted into this. Uh, the white jersey on the back of Onley with uh, Vingago in the frame here. And here comes uh, Alex <coughs> Axel Laurence, who uh, had a good job, uh, did a good job yesterday. Can't quite make it stick. But Trago's there. Pierre Roland may well get to the line. I think it's going to be a stage win potentially for him. But Onley still in the frame. Mati Mohoric is managing to hold on to them. And everyone wants to come and join the party right now. Who's saved something? Laurence gets out of the saddle. Can't make any inroads whatsoever. Uh, you can see Rivera as well just trying to go for it. And Vingago comes up and over the top. And so, so it is Vingago with Mohoric still here. Uh, there is Onley gets onto the back wheel of Vingago. Pierre Roland is out of it. Vingago still there and Onley has got something. Has he got anything? Can he possibly come round? Vingago at the line. Go it's going to be the same the pair of them. Oh and he bounces the back wheel. Onley's going to get up on here is he? Not quite. Oh my goodness. What a battle that was. Vingago takes it ahead of Onley and Mohoric. What a finale that was. Oh Onley has been brilliant.
Now, if he can regather himself for tomorrow, you just never know. Wow! It's got to be a wake-up call for a lot of teams who are looking at him right now. Call this in, Brian. Well, Pierre Alon was dying all the time. Only was stuck on the front and Vingigo was just waiting to pounce. He decides to go now. Mahoric doesn't have it, but only just ups the tempo again. Manages to get the wheel of Vingigo and it was just a matter of can he recover a little bit? You know, he, he's on the wheel of the Tour de France winner. Decides that he wants to try and win the stage. Comes up the right-hand side. Dare I say it, he pretty much almost gets past. It's very, very close. Yeah. Vingigo doesn't close the door or try to move over on him. I thought he was past, but just sits down and Vingigo just hangs on. That was the moment, Brian. Watch him come up alongside and watch the back wheel. It gets kicked on one of these uh, little margins, as you can see at the side. And he just lost the drive momentarily. Ah. Yeah, I just think when he sat down there, that, yeah. was, that was it. That was his, his last effort there. One. Two seconds back, uh, as declared, to Mohoric. The gap's here. Ten, six bonus seconds to Onley, plus the two-second gap to, to Mohoric. Makes an eight-second gain by Onley on Mohoric. And so here it is. Onley in eight seconds. He's uh, level with Mate Mohoric, so they'll be duking it out tomorrow. Vingago, he's coming to a real world of pain tomorrow when we get to... Uh, um, uh, Zagreb really um, a venue that would suit Mati Mohoric can he find 8 seconds there'll be bonus seconds on the line as well maybe intermediate sprints will count for an awful lot but it's going to be a hell of a Ferrari we know that much